OLED consoles come in all different shapes and sizes. Sometimes they look like this! Who designed this, a roly-poly? That was mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend roly-polies. So today, we're gonna be checking out what's probably the world's smallest bootleg console. The MJKJ Retro Game Console built-in 169 classic ga- I'm already tired. All you need to know is that this is basically a mini NES Mini. Miniception. <laughs> This thing can fit in the palm of your hand, which makes it incredibly fragile and incredibly easy to lose. So, hey, it's a win-win, really. I mean, heck, the controllers are bigger than the console. That's such a funny visual. Like the name says, there's 169 nice built-in games. With... with 30 vibrating games, you know, whatever the heck that means. I'm honestly baffled by this thing's size. Like, why? This was clearly made during the hype of the NES and SNES classics. Frick, it's even shaped like a Super Nintendo to try and scam some poor grandma out of her money. You sicken me! And reviews seem to be a bit mixed on the product. The controller really vibrates and everything is fully functional. Thumbs up. Then man, why'd you only give it three stars? I like it. I like it. Five stars. Nice game, but doesn't have Marion. Sometimes vibrations are irritating. Four stars. Man, that's more stars than the person who sounded like they really liked it gave it. So, I can't do this anymore. At least, not alone. So, hey, Nathaniel Bandy will be joining me in this painful adventure. Oh, baby, I know that intro very well. Me too! Obviously, it's... Okay, you know what? I already hate this game. I do not like being deceived! What we have here is a Mega Man 2 D-Make to try and present what Mega Man would look like if it was on an Atari console. Mega Man himself is just a block with two different shades of blue, while the enemies are sometimes just completely undefinable bits of blocks and pixels. Now, you might look at this game and think, hmm, huh, the graphics have been downgraded. Have the controls been also? And the answer is... Absolutely not! The game feels just as smooth and solid as the original Mega Man 2. It's a fun little mod if you're into this minimalistic visual approach, which we both really were. A lot of it comes down to- Whoa, 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 wait. You seeing this? Am I seeing what? Sus. Anyway, yeah. A really solid mod if you're a fan of blocks. Lots of blocks. Let's move on. Mario Bros. A classic multiplayer game to play with friends. Connor? Yeah? Why are Mario and Luigi naked? Well, you see, there's probably a good explanation for it. Just not one I could think of right now. Gives a whole new meaning to pipe cleaning, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This game is literally just the Mario Bros. arcade game with naked brothers. I mean, I guess I appreciate them being censored, but you know what I'd appreciate more? Not imagining Mario's Italian sausage floating in the wind. Mmm, Italian sausage. I'm kinda hungry now, you wanna order a pizza? What is wrong with you? The same old game, just with a weird coat of paint on it. Also, the Koopas are replaced with chickens, because I guess you can also call a chicken, uh... <coughs> Here's the Fairly Odd Parents on NES, exclusively only through a subscription to Oaxis. Thanks, Butch! So, you can choose between either Cosmo or Wanda. I chose Cosmo. The game is a pretty basic side-scrolling shooter. Controls well, and nothing to really complain about here. Although, I gotta ask, what are these enemies? I cannot decipher what these faces are. They kinda look like Timmy Turner, but also a bit like Spongebob. Okay, that one is definitely Spongebob. And I'm not even gonna try to figure out what your deal is. Gah! This game is kinda difficult, though. I don't know what you're talking about. This game is too easy. Wanda's projectiles act as a spread shot, so I could just mash the attack button and 95% of the time, I'll hit an enemy. I'm not even looking at the game now, I'm on my phone. <gasps> oh my gosh, did you know Backstreet's back? That's totally unfair, I... Really? Alright! But yeah, a little unfair that Cosmo starts off with this little pea shooter, but Wanda gets the frickin' United States military behind her! It's an okay game, I guess. I got nothing else to say. Super Mario Bro- That's not Mario! That's Princess Link! The game is just good old Super Mario Bros. 1, but now with the Zelda skin. 
It's everything you'd expect from rupees replacing the coins, octorocks replacing the koopas, so forth and so on. Again, most of these bootleg consoles have hundreds and hundreds of NES games, so something as simple as this game to spice things up every now and then, I'm all for it. Something not as interesting, though, is Luigi vs. Mario's Stop on Brother's Head. What a name. Here, you control Mario and need to jump on Luigi's head. I mean, thank God that's what they named the game, or else I'd be totally lost. That's literally all the game is. Jump on Luigi's head the most amount of times to get the high score. His movements are random and sometimes so unpredictable, it makes the challenge somewhat difficult. But no thank you! If I want to see Luigi get bullied, I'll just watch his ending in Mario Power Tennis. Poor guy. So, a lot of the titles on this thing are just random NES games. But, wait, I think I see something. Titled, Naked Headless Mario Fights the... The WHAT?! Oh my god, what is this?! I swear I had no idea something like this would be on here. There's the naked and headless Mario the game was named after. Luigi is literally just, uh, you know, uh... Fingers! I don't even know what Toad is supposed to be, and the princess is also naked! I know! This is going off the rails fast. Uh, maybe once the game starts, though, things will mellow out. Nope! Things did not mellow out at all! Things have actually gotten worse! To the point where I literally just need to censor the entire game. I'm not over-exaggerating. Every hill, mountain, and even the ground are just covered in vulgar language. The enemies are just walking <coughs> with faces. There's all kinds of messed up logos and artwork spread throughout. Literally every object in this game is inappropriate. You do realize you'll probably be banned off of YouTube if you continue this game anymore. Yeah, good point. Let's just move on to one final game. NES Fireplace. Huh. Well, this is kinda nice. It kinda feels like Christmas. Ah, that's nice. My hands are feeling nice and toasty now. I... you do realize that... Uh, never mind. We had quite the trip today, so I'm just going to enjoy this fire with you. So thank you all so much for watching, and thanks again to Nathaniel for joining me. I'm sorry to subject you to the torturous life of a bootleg console owner. Hmm? What's that? Oh, sorry, I, I couldn't hear you over this crackling orb fire. Ooh, ah yeah. See you all next time.